Hi, I'm Maya. What is your name? You have a very nice name. Today, I'm going to read you a book about how animal bodies work. Mrs. Hippo asks her class of animals to tell their classmates about their special parts. They learn how the different parts work to keep their bodies alive. Are you ready to go to Mrs. Hippo's class? Wonderful! Let us go. Today, class, we are going to be talking about our bodies, said Mrs. Hippo to her class of animals. Each of you uses your body parts to help you do special things. Many of you have special parts that most of your friends do not have. Elephant, why don't you go first, said Mrs. Hippo. You can tell us about your special trunk. This is my trunk, said Elephant, pointing to her trunk. I use it for all kinds of things. I can use it to pick up leaves. It helps me drink water. I suck water up my trunk and squirt it into my mouth. I even use my trunk to smell. Turtle, why don't you go next, said Mrs. Hippo. I bet the whole class would like to know about your shell. Turtle poked his head out of his shell. This is my shell. As you can see, it gives me a place to hide and helps protect me. The color of my shell also helps me blend into my habitat. Oh, I'd like to go next, called out Giraffe. Can I tell them about my neck? Go ahead, said Mrs. Hippo. This is my neck said Giraffe. I need a long neck so I can reach the leaves on trees. My neck also helps me to see far distances. Toucan, what about your big orange beak? asked Mrs. Hippo. My beak is big and colorful, but that is not all, Toucan replied. I use it to help pluck and peel the fruit that I eat. My beak also helps keep me warm if I tuck it under my feathers while I sleep. Chameleon, sometimes you can be very colorful too, can't you? said Mrs. Hippo. Yes, replied Chameleon. Normally my body is a tan color, and that helps me blend in with my habitat. It can get darker when I need to warm up, and lighter when I need to cool down. Sometimes I can change colors to send messages to my mate. My horn is used to help me find a mate, Rhino piped up. That's really cool, Rhino, said Mrs. Hippo. What else do you use your horn for? Well, my horn also helps me defend myself if I get into trouble. It can keep animals from causing trouble with me, too, because it makes me look scary. Animals do not cause trouble with me either, but I don't have a horn, said Cheetah. What makes other animals afraid of you? asked Mrs. Hippo. My speed, Cheetah replied. I have long, powerful legs. They help me run really fast and catch my prey. My hearing helps me catch my prey, said Bat. Is that why your ears are so big? asked Cheetah. It sure is, replied Bat. I can hear better than most animals. At night, I make sounds and my ears hear an echo when the sounds hit food. Ooh, ooh, is it my turn? asked Monkey. But Monkey, you don't have any special parts, his friends cried. That's not true, explained Mrs. Hippo. Monkey may not have a long neck or a shell or a trunk or any other parts that really stand out, but that does not mean that Monkey's parts are not special. That's right, Monkey replied. My parts may not look special to you, but I use them in special ways. My hands and feet help me climb, balance, and hold on to things. 
but my really special part is my tail, continued Monkey. Lots of animals have tails, but monkeys have a different kind of tail. I can hold food with it or use it to dangle from tree branches. So you see, you all have special body parts, said Mrs. Hippo. Your special body parts help you get food and water. They keep you safe and sometimes even provide you with shelter or keep you warm. Without them, it would be hard to stay alive. <laughs>